Hi everyone, let's try to solve this test. 3 credits or 4 credits per course and the number of 3 credit courses x, so 3x and the total is 16, so we have to add them. 4 credit courses y, so 4y is equal to 16. B. Second one. Uh, we're looking for y intercept of the linear function, and that's given in the slope intercept form, like y is equal to mx plus b. b represents y intercept, so that's 3, 0, 3, d. Third one Which of the following is close to the company's monthly revenue in millions of dollars for June 2009? We have to look what's written here as an x. Axis, the number of months after June 2009. So if we're looking for in June 2009, that's zero when x is zero. A y intercept, y intercept approximately, it's close to 10, a little bit less than 10, and it's one of the choices given like that 8.5. Next is number four. So A, C, B, this one, and E, C, D. That one, they're same, congruent, they're same. AE is equal to 15, and the triangles are similar given actually. What's the length of CE we're looking for? Okay, so uh, because of those angles, same angles, 3 and 6 are corresponding sides, so it's 2 times. If that's 2 times, we can write AC is X and C e is 2x and then A e is given 15, so x plus 2x, 3x is equal to 15 and x is equal to 5. And we're looking for C e, which is 2x, so that's 10. Number 5, which polynomial is equivalent to? We just need to open that bracket, and that's a little bit easier because in the middle we have plus sign, so we don't have to change any. Um, sign inside of the bracket, especially the second bracket I'm talking about. So 12 and 6 x to the 4, that's 18 x to the 4, so not a and b. And we have here 13x squared, we don't have any x squared, so 13x squared, that's c. Um, in this kind of problems, identical equation, we're looking for x from that. So we don't have to read, actually, this kind of problems. We're looking for x, as we can see from all choices. So by cross-multiplying method, y is equal to yz is equal to x plus w, and then w to another side, yz minus w is x. Okay. And number seven, what's the best indentation of g of 20 is equal to 1.376? Okay, linear function and percentage increase written. And x represents number of years after 1990. So g of 20, when x is 20, which means 20 years after 1990. Now the n b, 20 years after 1990 and percentage increase so percentage increase has to be written in the choice so not 1.376 times not that one so it's c quadratic function uh, given in the factors form or x-intercept form we can say um, okay that opens upward which means a is positive so not a and b and coordinates of its vertex are both negative and from the factors point we can see what are the roots b and c and h which is x coordinate of the vertex that can be found x1 plus x2 over 2 average of the solutions in this case b plus c over 2 and h is negative given if that's negative 
uh, from those choices. Um, D says B and C are positive. So if both are positive, it's going to be positive. So it's not D. Yes, if both are negative, the result is going to be negative. So that's C. Number nine, how many solutions we're looking for? We don't have to solve it, just how many solutions. By the way, for, for the system of linear equations, there are three cases, uh, infinitely many solutions, and exactly one or zero, not exactly two. Um, so we can just simplify the second one. The first one is 2x plus 6y is equal to 2. Second one is going to be 2x plus y is equal to 10 if we divide each side by 2. And then uh, the method we have to check, like the ratio of the coefficients, so 2 over 2 and 6 over 1 and 2 over 10. And as we can see, the first fraction is not equal to seconds. And that means the lines are intersecting lines and there's just one solution. Number 10, some of the solutions we're looking for, and we can write absolute value 2x plus 6 is equal to 4 to another side minus 4, 4. And the possibility is 2x plus 6 is equal to 4, and 2x plus 6 is equal to negative 4. From the first equation, 2x is equal to negative 2x is equal to negative 1. And from the second, 2x is equal to negative 10 and x equal to negative 5. We're looking for some of them, so it's negative 6. Here, um, solutions of the inequality, okay. Uh, so we can do this. y is less than or equal to, because the shaded region is below the line, and slope is positive. By the way, slope is 3 and 1 here, so rise over on 3 over 1, which is 3. So 3x plus 3, because y intercept is 3 as well. So we got to check it out, which choice is equivalent form of that thing. And uh, so if I'm checking 3 to another side, to the left side, negative 3 here. Less than or equal to y to the right side, 3x minus y. So 3x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 3, which is b. And number 12. So it's parabola, as we can see from all of the choices given in the vertex form. And um, even that's given in the vertex form. We can just take the vertex point, it's at the top, and that is 0 0.256, which is HK, and vertex form is Y is equal to A times X minus H squared plus K. You can just plug in and so it's D. Number 13, so Trapezoid A and B are similar, okay. Uh, the length of each side of trapezoid A is A times the length of corresponding side of trapezoid B, okay. So let's say for B, that we, even that's smaller, uh, one side, let's take X, another, uh, so for another one, that's going to be 8X. The area of trapezoid A is how many times as large as the area of trapezoid B, okay. So if the shapes are similar and the ratio of the sides uh, is given so we can just use uh, that ratio but we have to pay attention the relationship between the areas like ratio of the areas is going to be um, like 8x over x but square of that ratio so x has got cancelled 8, 8 squared is 64 so 64 times basically 8 times that is the ratio of the corresponding sides. Ratio of the areas is going to be 8 squared, which is 64. Uh, there is a proof for that. 
but I'm moving on right now. Number 14, the function f is uh, defined by that, and that that's an, uh, an exponential function. If we're looking for y-intercept, we have to pay attention for the exponential function, because at the end, the constant negative 4 is not y-intercept. Uh, it's, it's the most common mistake, actually. So y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So we can just plug in 0 and find it. When x is 0, 6 to the 0 is 1. 1 times negative 8, negative 8, and we have minus 4 there, so it's negative 12. 0, negative 12, 8. Number 15, uh, equivalent form we're looking for, and the power is given 2 over 3. So we can just write cubic root of square root of 2q plus square root of r square and uh, the formula for expanding that bracket actually is like x plus y square this x square plus 2xy plus y squared so we're using that thing cubic root of uh, 2q plus 2 times square root of 2qr and plus r. So there is no correct choice. This has to be correct choice. But there is no correct choice. Okay. Number 16. 3x minus 9 is equal to 6. So add 9 to each side. 3x is equal to 15. x is equal to 5. We're looking for 2x. Please pay attention what we're looking for. So 2x is equal to 2 times 5, 10. So positive solution we're looking for. For getting rid of that radical, we can find square of each side. So the left is going to be x squared minus 9, and the right side is 4 squared 16. Add 9 to each side, x squared is 25, and x could be plus or minus 5. We're looking for positive solution, so that's 5. Line P is defined by that, and perpendicular lines, okay. So the slopes are negative reciprocal, we have to pay attention. We have to know that thing. Negative reciprocal, um, but this expression given in the standard form. So for finding slope, we have to convert it. Uh, 2y plus 4x is equal to 9. So subtract 4x from each side. 2y is equal to negative 4x plus 9, and divide your side by 2, y is equal to negative 2x, plus 9 over 2. So, as like y is equal to mx plus b, slope is negative 2 here, and slope is negative 2, as I said, negative reciprocal, so it's going to be 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is the slope of another line. 19. Uh, for doing this, even there are fractions, and the denominator is 3, let's get rid of them. We can multiply each side by 3. So 2x minus 6 is equal to x plus 3. And then um, variables to one side, constants to another side. So 2x minus x is equal to 6 plus 3. x equal to 9, and we're looking for 2x, so it's... 18. And the last one here, uh, and we lie on a circle with radius 4 meters, okay. RKB has length um, meters. The length 4 pi over 5 of arc is both fractional and circumference, okay. We have to know the formula for it. So arc can be found x over 360 times circumference, x represents central angle, and the length of arc is given, so 4 pi over 5, that's equal to x over 360 times circumference is 2 pi r, 2 pi and r is given 4, and so 
fours got cancelled from each side, pies got cancelled from each side. On the left in the numerator, we have to write one there. Now, let's divide each side by two. That's going to be one over 10 is equal to x over 360. So, we're looking for the fraction of the circumference, and that is x over 360. So, we got the result. It's one over 10. The question can be asked differently. If the question asked for what's the central angle, we can just find x from that. And x is going to be 36 degrees. But in this case, we're looking for what fraction of the circumference, and that's 1 tenth. Thank you.